Hi, kindergarten. You will need to find this paper in your folder. It's called Let's Label Fall. We are going to label each of these pictures with the word that matches. The word is also really faint in the box, so we can match the words that we see down here with the words in each of the box so we can get our labels correct. The first thing we need to do is take our pencil, pinch our pencil, and write our name at the top on this line where it says name. Okay, next we're going to take our scissors, put your thumb in the little hole and your three fingers in the big hole. Fingers, or the scissors stay away from you. So I'm going to hold my paper tightly and use my scissors to cut this part out. So you see that dotted line? I'm going to use that to help me cut out this part of the paper. There we go. All right, next I'm going to pick which word I wanna start with. So let's take a look at our pictures. Let's start over here with the apple. Here's the word apple. Can you find apple on here? Yep, here's the word apple, they, they match. So I'm going to cut that out. And I wanna cut this extra piece off at the top here. And usually I throw out my trash right away, but I think I'm going to have a lot of scrap pieces. So I'm gonna put them in a pile next to my work so that I don't forget about it. Let's label our picture. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in this box here on top of the word apple. And then I'll put apple down in the box. Do you know what this is a picture of? It's a scarecrow. This word says scarecrow. We're going to find the word scarecrow on here and glue it in the box. Do you see it? It's right here. So I'm going to cut out that word scarecrow. All of these pictures have to do with fall. They're all related to fall. I have some extra scraps there. I will glue my word scarecrow down. In fall, we can pick apples and we can make apple pie and applesauce and apple cider. In the fall, you will see scarecrows. And in the fall, the leaves start to fall and they change color too. So here is the word leaf. Can you find leaf? Yep, right here. So I'm going to cut out. First, I'm gonna take this word and put that to the side. I'm going to cut out leaf and glue that on top of its line right here. There we go. Apple, scarecrow, leaf. What comes next? What's that a picture of? It's a tree. Why do you think the tree has no leaves? Why is it there? because all of the leaves that were on the tree fell down in fall. So this is the kind of tree that you'll see in fall and in winter. Let's find the word tree. Here it is, T-R-E-E. -E. Going to cut out the word tree. Make sure it matches, T-R-E-E. -E. Yep, put a little bit of glue right there and glue the word tree. Hmm, what do you think this is a picture of? It starts with the letter S. 
which sounds like s. It's a squirrel. Squirrel. I have two letters, two words left. Yep, here's squirrel. So let's, keeping my scissors away from me, I will cut out the word squirrel. And we can glue that right here. Squirrel. And our last picture is a pumpkin. So here's our last word. I can double check that this says pumpkin by matching it up and making sure all the letters in the word match. P U M P K I N. Pumpkin. We'll put pumpkin right here in the box. Now let's go over our pictures and our labels. Apple, we labeled with the word apple. The scarecrow, we labeled with the word scarecrow. Here's a leaf. Here is a tree. We have a squirrel and a pumpkin. Pumpkins are very popular in the fall. You can go pumpkin picking. You can carve a pumpkin for Halloween. You could use the seeds of a pumpkin and roast the pumpkin seeds. You could have pumpkin pie around Thanksgiving time. Pumpkins are amazing. Okay, I'm all done with my scissors, so I'm going to put these away. And I'm done with my glue stick, so I'm going to lower my glue, take my cap, and wait till I hear it snap. All right, did you hear that? My glue is ready to go away. And I have some of my trash that I kept in a nice neat pile. So I'm going to throw out my trash and then I'll be right back and we are going to color our pictures. All right, I'm back and it's time to color the apple. I'm going to make a red apple. hues to it. I'm going to do it like that. You can color your color your leaf. So in the fall, leaves change color. So usually you see green leaves, but when it gets colder and we're, we start to get into the season of fall, you'll notice that the leaves might turn orange, brown, or red. So you can make your leaf any of these colors because we're in fall. And in fall, we still see green leaf. So you could also make your leaf green. I'm going to make my leaf orange. I love when the leaves change colors. I think it's so beautiful. Okay, and my tree is going to be brown because the tree trunk and the branches stay the same color in fall even though their leaves change colors and then they fall down. But the branches and the tree trunk stays the same. So make my squirrel brown. And this squirrel is holding an acorn. So you can color her acorn brown too. I'm going to add a reddish pink color to the inside of her ears. What color do you think I should make my pumpkin? Yeah, I'm going to use orange, but I'm also going to use green for the pumpkin, the leaves that are hanging off the pumpkin. If you go to a place like a farm where you pick pumpkins, you'll notice that the pumpkins are actually on a vine and they grow on the ground. And they have leaves and brown stems 
and you get to pick your favorite pumpkin, one that you'd like to take home. Sometimes you have to remove the pumpkin from the vine. Other times the pumpkins are off the vine and you can just pick it up and take it home. Here is my fall labeling picture. I have my apple, my scarecrow, my leaf, my pumpkin, my squirrel, and my tree. The, the last thing you can do before you're done is color the border. So I'm going to take a blue color and very carefully I'm going to color my border. Remember, you can use a scrap piece of paper so you don't get any crayon on the table. All right, here's my finished product, and I can't wait for you to get started on your fall labeling picture.